Hello everybody, welcome to Chin Fat. In this episode, I'm gonna be briefly showing you guys how to do undo, redo, and work with the history tab. Undo is pretty simple. The shortcut for it in a Mac is gonna be Command Z, and on a PC it's going to be Control Z. And undo works if you do something that you don't that you did not mean to do, and you can undo that. But within within the Premiere Pro, though, you can do several steps, and then you can do undo several times, and it will go back several steps as well. Let's do a quick demonstration. I'm just going to add some quick random clips here. So I've got some short in and out points here that I'm going to quickly edit to my timeline. Pick period. Drop that clip down in. Drop another clip in, and then drop a third clip in. Okay, I've edited three clips down in my timeline here since I've opened up the software here. And now if I realize I didn't want that clip right there, I didn't want to do that edit, all you have to do is hit Command or Control Z. So Command Z on a Mac, and it undoes that move. Now if I decide that I do want to keep that there, and I decide that I want to take that back, that would be the shortcut is, now keep in mind the shift key is kind of like a reverse key. It reverses what you, uh, the command of what the original, it reverses the original command. So control or command Z would be undo. So control or command shift Z would redo. And there you go. And then it brings it back. So once again, on a Mac, command shift Z and on a PC, control shift Z is the redo key. And this can do it in several steps as well, because I've, I've done three edits here since I've been talking and I can do, I can undo all those things. So I can do command Z, command Z again, and notice it ended, uh, cause I did in and out points on the clip before. So I undid the out point. So now it will undo the in point, command Z, and now it will undo putting the clip into the timeline. And same thing, command Z, command Z, did, it took out the in and out points on the previous clip that I did. And then one more command Z and it's done. But once again, I can do, well then command shift Z and bring back all that stuff. I'm just hitting a whole bunch of times here and bringing everything back. So that is pretty simple, and it keeps track of all the undos and redos that you ha have done since you've opened up the software. When you close it down and open it back up, if you close it down completely and open it back up, those are going to be gone, and it will start from fresh, and you cannot undo the previous uh, moves that you have made anymore since you've rebooted the software. All right, now let's show you the history function here. And the history tab is up inside these projects. If you're under the regular Windows, if you're under the regular uh, editing layout, you're going to find it under these tabs right here next to the project windows. Not there, not there, not there. And as you move down, if you don't see it, uh, what you can do, there's lots of tabs that are open right here. You can click on this little double arrow, and it will show you everything that's in this window here under tabs. And here is our history right there. Click on my history. It'll start generating all the moves in here that I've done since I've opened up the software. And the first thing that I did was open up the software. Right there it says new, open. That's the very that's where it stopped. Even if I open up a, a previous project, these are all the moves that I've made in order from top to bottom until right now. Now the last thing I did was an overwrite where I sent this clip down onto the timeline. And here are setting the in and out points on these previous clips. If I wanted to undo all those three clips that I've done, I'm going to move up to the first overwrite. Here's where I set the in and out point. And I'm just going to click on this right here. And notice what it does, it grays all these out and I undid all those moves all at once. Rather than hit Command Z or Control Z a bunch of times, I was able to just get rid of those. But now I can bring them back by going to the end and say, well, I, I wanted to go to this point right here over to the second overwrite, the second clip. You can click right there. Say I want to go to this overwrite right here. You can click on that and it brings back the two clips that I did all the overwrite, the in and out points and all those moves and puts them back on. And now these ones are grayed out and those ones are no longer. And this last edit that I did is no longer there. I set the in and out point and then I did the overwrite and it's no longer there. So hopefully this is pretty intuitive. One thing to keep in mind, let's say we go back to this one again, and now I do a different move. Let's say I go to a clip and you see all this grayed out stuff right here. Remember, after you after you make a new move, it's going to delete everything after that because it will no longer remember all those moves that you made. So I'm going to go back to my project window, my scene folder, and I'm just going to edit another, and I'm just going to edit another clip here into the timeline. So right here, I'm going to set an endpoint right there. So I hit I. Right there, that's uh, that's a move. So uh, if I go back to my history window now, it's gonna you're gonna notice everything that I had. I was right here, and everything after that was grayed out. And I did a new move. Everything after that has got it's gotten rid of. It can no longer undo to that because it started. In, it's like it started a branched off new path here on moves. So now I can go in and notice. Watch this when I hit out point out. It, that, that, that's another move. Then I hit periods and drop it in my timeline, and that's another move. Even if I do a trim, trim. That's a move, and once again, I can go back and undo all those things just by clicking right there, and then if I start a fresh move, it will delete everything that's grayed out there.
And also one thing to keep in mind that these shortcuts, uh, the default shortcuts have changed in the past year. So if you're working on a previous version of Premiere, the redo on the Mac used to be uh, Command Y. And in the last uh, couple of versions, they finally changed it where it matches the PC version. Where And it makes sense because Shift is that modifier key that reverses it. So they kept it as Command Z and then Command Shift Z to redo. So that's basically showing you how to undo your moves, redo your moves, and then have this little history list here, which helps facilitate doing undoing a whole bunch of moves at once or redoing a whole bunch of moves at once. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know.